Hi, I'm Natalie Rydstrom and welcome to World Sports Weekly. The World Cup futures odds have been up for some time, but with changes in teams and news hitting the headlines, the odds are changing. Joining us now is Richard O'Hagan, sports writer and regular contributor to SBR, to run us through these changes and how they affect our odds and when's the best time to place our bets. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's great to be with you. Now, with less than a month now, the biggest news has to be Brazil's choice in their squad, opting for a younger team and missing the likes of AC Milan's uh, duo, Caco and Rubino. Now, now, not that it's directly related, but Brazil are also under stress as they're still waiting for two stadiums to be completed, which could reflect over to their national team. Brazil, who are still favoured, are priced at four. However, the odds are changing elsewhere. Do you think that that's a good bet? And can you see those odds for Brazil moving? I can certainly see them shortening, Natalie. I think that... One of the things you've got to remember, football is almost a religion in Brazil. And if Brazil go on and win the World Cup, nobody there is going to care what's happened about stadiums. No one's going to care about what has happened to the, the squad. So what they've done is they've chosen younger players who will be under less pressure to perform because nobody expects them to do quite so well without the old hands in there. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go out there and they're going to be lifted by the crowd and they've got a very reasonable group draw you could say it's probably the second easiest group out there and they're going to do very very well so i have no doubt about it brazil are going to make it all the way through to at least the semi-final in this tournament fifa would love it if they made it to, to the final brazil would love it if they made it to the final and all the while that happens the odds are going to fall so yes get behind brazil now because there's going to be changes and they're not going to be upwards OK, so strategically here, this younger squad that Brazil, that Brazil has chosen, uh, you're behind that. I think it's an excellent move, Natalie. I think that what they've done is a bit like England have done. They picked some younger players, left out some older hands and said to those young guys, we know you're not so experienced, but go out there. We trust you. We have faith in you. But it lowers the expectation because they know that if those guys don't quite perform, then it's actually the coaches that are on the chopping block rather than the players. So a yeah, very, very smart move, and I think it's going to make a difference as well. OK, interesting. You know, I interviewed sports writer Alex Peace from That's a Goal .com and we discussed the early World Cup futures. Now, from seeing uh, Brazil's squad and also Germany's squad and the strength that they had, um, and also Germany's... Um, Germany's path to the final. He was actually picking Germany here as a, lo as a sort of a longer shot. They are third favourites. What are your thoughts there? I, I agree with him. The one quibble I've got with the German side is they've only picked two out-and-out -out strikers in there, one of whom is Miroslav Klose, who hasn't played an awful lot this season. So that's a potential weakness in the German squad. But on the other hand, again, they've got a good draw. The, once they come through their group with Portugal, they should have a reasonably clear run, at least through to the semi-finals. I can actually see a Brazil-Germany final taking place here. So yeah, Brazil, Germany have been my outside bet for this tournament for quite a long time now. OK, so that's, that's good to hear. Now, um, they're priced at seven here, uh, their third favourites, like I said. Spain are four favourites, priced at 7.5. Um, do you agree with that order? And what do, you, what do you sort of rate Spain's chances here? Is that, are they worth a bet at 7.5? Spain are worth a bet, but remember that to win this, they've got to beat Brazil earlier than the final. They can't meet Brazil in the final the way the draws fallen. So I think that Spain, that reflects the situation really. You wouldn't normally expect the reigning champions to be four favourites for a tournament like this, but they have actually not got the easiest route through. They've got that tough group with Holland to start off with. That, like I said, then Brazil as potential quarterfinal or semi-final opponents, that's tricky. I don't see them making it all the way through to the final. OK, so you see you see a Brazil-Germany final. Who would you place in your top three finish? I would definitely Brazil, Germany, and I think Argentina are probably going to be the third team to get through that. Now, if Spain do lose to the Netherlands in their opening game, how will this affect Spain's odds? Obviously, they're priced 7.5 now. Do you see them being totally knocked off the board? I think if Spain lose to the Netherlands, one, it'll be a surprise because I think both teams are going to go out there and play that game for a draw because they know if they don't drop points to each other, they can probably make it through out of the group. Secondly, if Spain do lose, then yes, those odds are going to lengthen. Their chances will get even worse. They'll definitely, I think, end up playing Brazil in the quarterfinals in that case, in which case I think there's a, a real issue there for them. So. Spain, to me, slightly fading force after the great successes of 2010 and 2012. 
So definitely back them with caution, and, and certainly if they lose that game against the Netherlands, then it, it, they might as well hand the trophy back. Yeah, that's right. Well, the World Cup um, has been described as a four-legged horse race between favourites Brazil, Argentina, Germany and Spain. Is there any room for an outsider? Belgium are currently uh, their fifth favourites, priced at along 21, especially if, if Spain do lose to the Netherlands. I think there's certainly room for outsiders. I think Belgium, uh, a lot of people's fancy. I think that's a little bit of a romantic choice. I think the Belgian team are good, but they're not that good. And they don't have that huge amount of experience in tournaments like other teams do. I think if you're going to look for a long shot, you might want to look maybe at France, who should stand a reasonable chance of making some progress here. You might even want to look at Italy. Now, there's a lot of people talking about how Italy might not get out of the group that they're in with England and Uruguay. But I think they probably will do. I think it's England that are probably not going to qualify from that group. And it, the Italians could surprise people this year. OK, well, you've heard it here. If you're going to back Brazil, the favourites, uh, now is the time to bet, uh, whilst their odds are at four. Richard O'Hagan, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome, Natalie. Whoa.